Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Luffy Myrtle here, back again with another uh, episode review of The Promised Neverland. Today we'll be talking about The Promised Neverland, episode 5. So yeah, it's just a, this basic continuation of the plot, really. Nothing, like, made... Oh, it did. Like, I'll say that, but it is major to the storyline. And so, yeah. But anyway, we um, cut up last week. We um, ended the episode of Norman... Uh, saying to Ray that you're the uh, what you call it traitor of the group and he's leaking information to Mum and stuff and so, yeah basically Norman got that right he set up a trap um, he um, set up, I think he set up like three ropes or whatever in different locations like he told in um, yeah, three, uh, the three people um, individually that oh, uh, there's a rope there, rope, uh, and um, yeah, ro um, the rope under Roman's bed, Norman's bed got taken away. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Ray is a snake. He's a little rat. And mate, he, oh man, I don't, I don't see why Norman like trusts him or whatever, because like it's just like it's like he gets a sick sensation out of all this like backstabbing and like information leaking to her mum and stuff I don't know how I don't know how uh, it doesn't really explain how it happened or anything but I think m like Ray must have like figured something out or something like that because he's quite a clever dude but um yeah and what happens was like he just he, d he leaks information to mum and stuff like pretty much I'm not sure if it's all of the information but apparently he does it to save um Emma and Norman's back. I very high. I don't know. There's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot to be talked, spoken about, in the near future when it comes to the series. I think there's a lot more to Ray than he then on. I think he's just. I think he's been a bit of a cop out, um, cowering out all because he got caught and he didn't expect to be caught. And like, like, like I said, Ray gets like this six um like sensation out of all of this, and like he's just a massive backstabber, and. Oh god, and uh, he freaks Norman out, and he's just telling like Norman says like, "Oh, it's fine. Like as long as you join our side and everything." But I think um, I think uh, like what was it? I forgot. Yeah, in Death Note, this is ironic um, because they're both compared to, but in Death Note, um, one in one of the uh, like Light said to this dude when he didn't when he didn't have information like memories of the Death Note or anything like that. He um, had a. Uh, were well, they were investigating this group of uh, like um, people in um, Yotsuba, I think it was called, and they. Uh, or haven't if you haven't read Death Note, just skip a, like thirty seconds into the video. But anyway, um, they were investigating Yotsuba, and they basically said, "Oh, um, if you um, pretty much if L like, if you could find out who um, the new Kira is or the Kira as they were thought at the time." Um, we'll, um, well, he won't go to prison or anything. You just need to link information or try to get, um, help it, um, them out of getting out who to find out that Kira, who Kira is. And, yeah, and then, or if, like, if L, if they, um, if L dies as a result, like, it won't, nothing will happen to him. Like, they'll all, like, stay in, thin, uh, stay in communication. So it'd be beneficial to both parties if he stayed that way. So I think that's what, what Ray's doing. I don't think Norman like caught, caught, caught like the hand of that re um, just yet. But I think that's the route that Ray's going to go along. Just like just play both to both parties. So yeah, I think Ray wants to escape, but he's not. He's going to be cautious about cautious about it, and like make sure he gets his way and everything. Like he's not like unlike unlike Emma. I'll say, uh, unlike Emma, because yeah, Norman's a bit of a different story, like, it's like more, like, it'll be more inclined to follow Ray other than Emma. So, yeah, but like, Emma's, like, Emma puts all of her eggs in one basket, basically, um, and she's like all full in, like, she wants to escape and stuff, but then Norman, like, Ray, like, definitely is more, it's like 50 50, but like, Norman's probably like 80. 20 like there's a 20 I think there's whoops I would say there's 20 percent chance like Norman would like I don't know rattle rat on the uh kids as well as so to speak if you know what I mean so yeah I think that's the way I think that's the way things are going um Norman although Norman is quite inclined to um be on this side still but at the same time um Emma like like Ray um said to um 
lawnmen. Um, that what they're gonna do um, is ditch everyone else and just like focus on Emma, Norman, and uh, Ray. And uh, Ray was a um, bit uh, like saying like, "No, we're going to leave together." But I think uh, they, they did Norman like no, no Norman said that. Sorry, and Norman uh, like basically gave in and said, "Oh yeah, we just focus on us three. But I think deep down he's gonna um, in the future just focus like just um, make sure everyone gets out. Nor Ray, because Ray believes everyone is like a burden to him and that sort of thing. But I honestly do think that, um, yeah, at the end of the day, um, I think Ray will, will um, I think Norman would just like just safely, yeah. But, um, Ray just says to Norman as well, don't mention it to uh, Emma because she won't, uh, she won't handle it and stuff. I don't think that Norman will tell Sarah. It wouldn't be a good, it wouldn't be a good idea in this situation to uh, tell Emma at this uh, point. But yeah, um, Emma, and then we get doing cut to Emma and Norman Ray. Um, basically, Emma is a. Um, basically, Ray yeah confesses that yeah I'm the traitor, and Emma like seeks is angry at the same, but um, sympathetic towards Ray at the same time. Um, so she like feels a lot of sympathy for like lies she had to tell, he's had to tell and stuff, and like generally like just been misleaded. But I like like I said, I don't think I wouldn't trust Ray with a pinch of salt on I think he's a bit of a snake. I think he's I think he's just, he's just out there for himself. But another another reference here, but it's like um, Red Dead Redemption Two. If you um play fully bad and just kill loads of people and stuff and just perfect um, just perform like here really terrible human being um, you get these if you haven't watched Red Dead it won't be like a spoiler or anything but you get this coyote coming on the screen very regularly and that basically apparently that indicates um, that you basically are in a group like you're in a pack of a group but you're in it for yourself so you just manipulate you probably manipulate the situation to make sure like everything falls your way and that sort of thing, and you want to get your way done, and you just want to work for his way to survive. But like, unless you're the deer, like the opposite way direction, like the deer, like Emma is, like Emma, like wants to, um, it's like a deer, and uh, once she dies, like, um, ev like nature will feed off her body, like because she's a good person, and that sort of thing. So yeah, um, that's that's basically what the roles I think. But Emma's like mad and stuff, and she's probably, and she's like, hundred percent in, and she's like fix it to a conviction if you know what I mean um so yeah that's that's the way I feel about Emma at this, at this point um then we cut to uh basically that's what happens and like I don't know Ray's just been it's just a weird snake I don't know and it'd be interesting to see what direction they go with uh Ray in the, few, um, in the next episodes um basically then we cut to a scene with Norman uh and Ray uh talking to a big um to mum uh, just about uh, what's going on and stuff. He's not telling her that, what they know and stuff. So that's um, a key point in the series. Um, be very interesting to see what happens. Apparently he's been doing this for like six years. So he's been given the basically inf needless information about um, what's going on and stuff in the group. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, he's supposed to keep an eye out to make sure that um, Emma, and Ray, uh, Emma and Norman don't go out because um, that's how they found out. Like, like her mom, my mum was like saying to him, like, "Oh, you're a bit untrustworthy and stuff because you couldn't like look after, like, get rid of this, make sure that situation didn't happen." When um, Norman and Emma like found out about uh, Connie and that sort of thing, so yeah. But apparently, he's been, he's been, he's been doing that for six years, um, and yeah, like. Just, massive snake like he's just acting all weird and stuff and they have this weird chemistry like he's acting like weird in front of big mum as well no mum as well sorry and yeah it's just like yeah but then we cut to a scene with um uh the little dudes and the little girl i forgot their names i do apologize but they basically um go into this thing and they're trying to find like this uh uh, secret room they basically said like oh in the previous scene as well like this is like they, they've like he keeps, he keeps like going into his rooms and stuff 
and the washing room and they want to find out this, I don't know I, don't, I can't remember how exactly they came to that conclusion there's a secret room but um, they eventually did find the secret room and the, at, the episode ends with Cliffhanger with um, someone opening the door and seeing who it is and stuff so yeah they could be dead um, yeah oh my god so yeah three um, just pre just like carry on with the plot no it we did find out like what's been happening and stuff I really want to know I really want to know the law and like know what's happening outside and stuff and know more about the demons oh yeah Norman also um, had a dream that um, like the kid like um, she, he was being captured by the uh, demons and that sort of thing and at the end of the day um, like um, everyone else is dead and like Ray like Norman no, Ray has like a rose in his heart I say it like saying to him like this is why I told you that we need to be alone and not rely on other people so yeah <clears throat> we'll have to see um, I, don't, I obviously don't think it'll be mum for some reason I think it might be um, Ray opening the door to see he might have access to the secret room as well so yeah this is a very good decent episode anyway guys I think that's where I leave it today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe all that stuff I'll see you next time. Peace.